But if y'all get part two to this, send it to me, man, because a lot of y'all don't even know. A lot of these cases and stuff that we be talking about on here, the parents been hitting me up. You know what I'm saying? Let me know what's happening. Now, I can't say everything about people's situations because, you know, they're telling me this one-on-one -on -one because they really appreciated me putting it on my platform, bringing it to the public. But, you know, they let me know what's happening and stuff like that, bro. And, and this stuff really do, this, this social media stuff really do get stuff taken care of, bro. So, y'all share the video. You know what I'm saying? Let's put some awareness out on the situation. Help her out. You know, I really What's up with you YouTube fam? Man, I'm back again with another video. Look, man. Um, yeah, I've been on my case about dropping another video, bro. <laughs> Real talk. Hey, and I really appreciate the support. Because like I said, man, y'all can be watching these videos anywhere, but y'all choose to come to this channel and watch them with me, and I appreciate that. Real talk. But uh, yeah, anyways, man, on a serious note, man, the man, it's Father's Day. If y'all wonder why I got this little shirt on, she, I know I like white t-shirts and shit or black, you know, just regular tees or whatever. But yeah, anyways, long story short, it's Father's Day. I came in. I read some Instagram DMs and like four or five people done sent me the same video, asked me to speak on it, you know what I'm saying? Saying that this young lady needed some help with her daughter. So, you know, y'all already know, man, shit, how I am about these type of videos. And plus y'all love them, you know what I'm saying? Y'all love the exposure that they do get on my channel. So shit, you know, I feel like, here, let's go ahead and get this, this another one. You know what I'm saying? Let's go ahead and see what's up with this. Hopefully we can bring some closure to the situation or do some type of help, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We finna go ahead and just jump straight into this. I'm gonna tell y'all what I feel about it during the video and after the video. So if you don't wanna hear me talking on the video that's on my channel, all you gotta do is get up off my channel and go find it somewhere else because I'm pretty sure it's over the internet somewhere else. And add my Facebook, my Snapchat, my Instagram, and all that if you wanna add it. If you don't, I ain't doing no tripping on that shit, man. Let's go ahead and just jump into this and see what's up with the whole situation. Oh yeah, add my second YouTube channel too called Carlos King 2. Let's get into it though. My baby is scared, y'all. I'm going live on Facebook. My, my baby is scared, y'all. My baby just told me, my daughter just told me that her had a toy stuck in it. On, a, on, on, on my visit, I'm, I'm tired. My baby is scared to go back to this house. My daughter is telling me, my daughter is red right now. My daughter is red right now, and they won't do nothing about this. My baby is scared, and she just told me that she couldn't boo-boo. My daughter just told me she couldn't boo-boo because it's been a toy and stuck in her. It's stuck in her red and they're telling me that they finna send my baby back to this house they're telling me yeah, that, that, that i have to send my baby back to this house and she need medical treatment she need medical treatment my daughter my daughter is scared to go to this house and she just said kalia tell the people what you just said kalia somebody put a toy on your butt and you can't boo-boo no more, right? We're not going to do this again. Let's go. My daughter, my daughter. Yeah. My daughter, but hold it, Can we call, can we call 911? I'm going to call 911. I'm going to call 911. I'm going to call the police on y'all. I'm going to call the police, y'all. I can't do nothing else about this. I'm going to call the police right now. They're trying to take, they're trying to take my baby. She just said, oh, how can she be at? Uh, somebody put a toy and she can't boo boo no more. They don't want to call the police about this. 911. I need an emergency. I need an emergency. I need an emergency. I'm at, ch I'm, I'm at Children's Home in Aid in East Austin, and my daughter just told me that her butthole been touched with a toy at the foster family. She's, yeah, I'm in Austin. I'm in Austin. But yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? I forgot to tell y'all that the, uh, the title of the video did say that this daughter was in a foster home. And I know some people are going to be quick to say something about her parenting skills or why the child isn't in her care and stuff like that. And over here, we ain't finna go for that. We ain't, we ain't on all that type of shit, man. I'm just going to tell y'all that straight up. If she's there with the child trying, I respect that more than anything. You know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, man, long story short, no, I, I, really, I really don't understand what. I want to know why is there not a sense of urgency from them? You know what I'm saying? I think that man said, don't quote, don't quote me on this, man, but I think that's what he said. He said, we're not going to do this again. Let's go. Get, like, basically trying to put her out of there. Even if they feel like she's on some bullshit or she's playing some games or something, 
to get a child or whatever the case may be. I don't know whatever that they thinking is going on with her. It still should be some type of sense of emergency every time something is presented about a child. You know what I'm saying? That's just how I feel about it. You never sleep on that. She never play no games. And plus, she's had, she has been in somebody else's care. You really don't know what's going on. And that child does look scared. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to lie to y'all. The child looks scared as hell. And I ain't going for that shit at all. If a child tell me something like that, bro, hey, we need to do something about this right now immediately. But let's get back into this situation, though. See what's up. I know I can children's home and and they're trying to take my baby back to this house where she just said somebody touched on her at and her hall is red. And she told me she can't boo-boo and she's hurting and she's scared. And I can't do nothing else. I'm going live on Facebook right now. My baby is crying. This is the second video. I have my baby on another video saying mm, she's been did. touched on her private part in this house. My witness are supervised and I'm trying to save my baby. I'm not gonna keep letting her go back to these people. My baby is scared. They won't call the police. They're trying to send her back to this family. And this is the second time I've hotlined and reported sexual assault on my daughter. And I don't know what to do no more. I have another video. She's already, it's this case, this has already been under investigated once. Now my baby, but not, my name is Terry Epperson. My baby does not look right. It's red and she's scared. She's scared. My baby is scared. Don't cry, baby. I got you. That's what my daughter's for. Mom, you ready? Yes. Let's, 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 let's. I don't. What's this address? Because my baby is saying she can't boo boo, and y'all just gonna put her in the car. She's saying her oh, hurt, and it's been a toy in her. I'm calling the police. It doesn't matter, baby. It, 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 it don't matter. Hold on, man. She, I don't care. She said it don't matter, bro. You would think that a woman would be on her side in this right here. Now, I really don't know what's going on. I'm just judging the video off of what I see. I'm not trying to go be a, 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 a life coach or none of that shit. I just honestly feel like if it is a, if they feel like she's playing in any type of way, they should still do a thorough check on everybody. And then if she is trying to make... Uh, some progress to get back into her child's life to get the child some type of custody or something like that and she don't feel comfortable with the with the with the foster parents then i feel like they should make some arrangements or something you know first of all if something if somebody even saying something even if the, if the daughter is agreeing to any type of thing that's going on that's not positive she should be moved that's just how i feel you know you got to keep now i don't now i do got to look at it on both ends because you don't want to keep putting the child in a different home every other day because it is unstable. But at the same time, when allegations come up like this, man, I'd rather the child be a little bit unstable for a few moments to, until she can get settled with the right care. You know what I'm saying? I hope y'all understand where I'm coming from on that. But for that woman to tell her it don't matter, bro, that's some bullshit. I don't give a fuck. Like, I just, I'm going to keep on saying this because I know some people are going to be trying to say the woman seems like she's playing games. Because, I mean, you know, I can't go there with it, but, you know, some people are going to be saying, oh, she's acting and... You, she like she's playing and stuff like that, bro. We don't know how people gonna act. You know what I'm saying? Everybody handles situations differently, so I can't fault her for even trying. You know what I'm saying? But let's get back into it and see what's up. She leave with me or not? She's not gonna keep going back with these people, and this is not okay for y'all to keep letting my daughter get assaulted. They are letting my baby get assaulted in this home. They are letting my baby get she my baby. Is red right now. I don't know what else to do. I'm going live, y'all. I gotta save my baby. I have to save my baby. She is being touched by somebody in this home, and I don't know what else to do. <laughs> my name is Kay Everson. To be people who dogs have heard my baby say this, and they're trying to take her back to the house. <laughs> I got you, baby. My name is Kay Epperson, E P P E R S O N. Oh, God, baby. Maybe she's four years old. You know, her name's Kalia Epperson. Dad, you still on the phone with me? Kalia, K H A I A. I don't know what else to do. She, she told me to take her to the bathroom. She told me, and you struck your nerve? My baby is red and she said somebody stuck a toy in it. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Do I stay on the phone? 
I've reported everything she said. I got two videos of my daughter saying she's been touched in this house. The police is on their way. She needs to be with somebody else, y'all. I don't know what to do. I need help. I need help, y'all. I need y'all to share my baby story. I need help, y'all. I don't know what else to do. My baby's scared. My baby's scared, and I don't know what to do. Damn, that's the end of the video. I want to know what's up. Hey, man, if y'all get an update on this, man, send it to me real talk, bro. But, uh, yeah, man, a long story short, man, I don't honestly feel like a mother would play with something like this. This is not nothing to play with at all. I feel like this. She should get this investigated to the fullest extent. You know, that's just how I feel about the whole situation. And then at the same time, you know, um, some people are going to be trying to say, like I said, they're going to be trying to talk about her parenting, why she don't have her own child with the whoop. Yeah, that, that, I mean, that's understandable. I'm not going to see where you're coming from. I'm just not going to throw that out the way either. You know what I'm saying? I got to keep it real on both sides but right now this child is the most important thing her her well-being you know what i'm saying and i feel like once you once you let something be known or any type of confusion any type of confusion i'm talking about the slightest bit should be investigated thoroughly and everything should be exalted before y'all move forward moving this child somewhere else i feel like if something is happening right now the child does need to be with the mom you know what i'm saying in a safe environment being monitored because we don't know the, the extent of the situation you know what i'm saying now if it's not nothing serious i feel like she should be with her own child but if it's something serious and she needs to work on getting the child back then hey you know what I'm saying? They can let her be with her where she look like she feels more comfortable. Cause right now she's holding on to her mama like she, you know, you know, uh, she really love her. You know what I'm saying? And I mean, wh what more can you say? You know what I'm saying? Besides, okay, we finna get you some help. Okay, just hold on, ma'am. Okay, you feel like this is happening? We finna do this right here. We finna do this right there. Even if there is some type of vendetta against the other foster parents or anything like that, bro, still exalt all you know, avenues with this right here before you move forward. That's just how I feel about it. But if y'all get part two to this, send it to me, man, because a lot of y'all don't even know. A lot of these cases and stuff that we be talking about on her, the parents been hitting me up. You know what I'm saying? Let me know what's happening. Now, I can't say everything about people's situations because, you know, they telling me this one-on-one -on -one because they really appreciated me putting it on my platform, bringing it to the public. But, you know, they let me know what's happening and stuff like that, bro. And, and this stuff really do, this, this social media stuff really do get stuff taken care of, bro. So y'all share the video. You know what I'm saying? Let's put some awareness out on the situation. Help her out. You know, I really don't want to put a lot of information out here. I really can't because of legal purposes, but I'm going to blur out a couple of words and stuff like that. If need be, if I feel like it's, it's going to give me some type of some type of YouTube trouble. You know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, man, that's all I got to say about the whole situation, man. Y'all like, subscribe. I'm going to be dropping a couple more videos this week, man. So y'all be on the lookout for that. And yeah, man, I'll holler at y'all later, man. I appreciate y'all rocking with me, man. Let's go ahead and share this shit and get it out here, man. Real talk. I'll holler at y'all another video if you fuck with me. If you don't, I really don't give a damn about you. All right.